All right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and let me shut down the voice of my computer. And Gemini Rising, a weekly general tarot reading, June 1st to June 7th, uh, 2020. In case any of you guys is interested in a private reading, you can check out the description down below. <clears throat> And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And as well, the third season of my tarot, the beginner's tarot classes, is uh, starting at the 21st of June. And in this class, which is a six weeks, um, six weeks tarot class, I'm going to teach you how to, how to read with the major arcana. So at the end of the class, uh, you're going to be set to do your own uh, personal readings and hopefully private readings as well. So that being set aside... Um, Moving for the first card of your uh, weekly spread here, that is going to be the sun, which represents uh, the very topic and the theme of the week, followed by the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. It's, it's going to be a super duper good week for you, Gemini, for what it seems. So we do have the four of pentacles, followed by the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That will be the five of wands. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be uh, the uh, knight of wands. Afterwards, we do have the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the six of pentacles. And the last one, which represents the guidance that Taro is offering to you, we do have the Four of Swords there. All right, so um, it does look like that this week it's um, a week where you're going to have your suspicious confirmed that things you are doing actually are going to serve you a for a long, long run. Because with the energies here, which are the energies of the Four of Pentacles, those energies are going to make you do two things, okay? One is to take on rather defensive measures or defensive standpoints, if you will, for the things that you do value the most. That could be your family, it could be your career, or in other words, to be uh, more careful and as well more um, risk deprived, if you will, when you are tackling with those fields. And additionally to that, with those energies, it does look like that wherever you get to perform whatever you are trying to do, it will actually ensure a pretty well secured future for yourself. So that being said, this week, the enterprises and the undertakings that you are to uh, to undertake here are going to serve you for a, a very, very long run. And that leads to the situation itself, which is the sun card here. So what the sun really points at is that um, you are going to be happy. Okay, uh, that, that's the, the grand scheme of things with the sun card. But it also shows that you are going to end up in a... Um, situations if you will uh, and endeavors that is which are going to have a, a quite of an expanding energies of growth meaning that you can achieve great stuff there if, for example if that's a newly formed relationship for you you can go for a really long run with uh, with that relationship who knows marriage um, family children etc etc uh, the, the sun card always offers you a rather systematic progress because the sun goes through the sky in a very natural order. I mean, it always does the same thing. So it's a natural unfoldment that you do have here. And that's why it's very important not to rush the things through. That's why it's very important to trust into the um, natural progression of your uh, enterprises in the, in the career field and in the relationship field as well. Not to mention that the sun also, it's a very good card when it comes to a monetary success. So if you are expecting some sort of a, a, a monetary or rather like a money st stabilization here into your environment, it's very possible that it's going to happen throughout this week. And uh, above everything else, uh, the Sun card also uh, predisposed for really good relationships, not just only a romantic relationships, but also a relationships that do have a casual form. Uh, and it predisposed for a burying hatchets down. So 
like a situations where you do have a really rough conversations you have been you have been insulted or in general you are in an edge with somebody it's very uh, possible that throughout this week you are going to mend those relationships moving next we do have uh, the um challenges and that will be the challenge of the five of wands so here challenging wise it is to um how can I describe it? Say to the believe into the impossible, if you will. It is because with the five of wands, you don't really know which enterprise is going to prove itself to work your while and is going to prove itself really beneficial for you. And for that reason, it's important not to enter biased into one endeavor or another endeavor, but just to try and do things as the things goes because with the five of wands there are to be a lot of surprises around turns as well and a huge dynamic and it also it's very important not to think that you do have something in the bag because you know things can change very rapidly here and there as well so that being said uh, the challenge itself for you gemini is not to give up from what you want to accomplish throughout the week because regardless of how helpless and how you know how can i say lost it could seem at the very at the very last moment for you and an event that may may happen that will uh, offer you to resuscitate the situation and to pretty much reverse the failure into a success so the outcome uh, the bottom line with the five of wands is that the outcome of the situation is anybody's guess regardless of what kind of a stage the situation is and for that reason you should not give up on what you are after okay so moving next we do have the um, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy now obviously we do have a person here an individual that is going to be the knights of wands so these people they're quite energetic enthusiastic they're quite enterprising type of individuals so what that person is going to play a role as well they will help you with something because the knights of wands is always pleased to give a helping hand should that helping hand be received and um, uh, honestly there is no need for you to reject the helping hand the thing is that with the knights of wands they are uh, they are quite disconcerned with the, the obstacles what i mean is that they do not waver and for that reason they will be willing to do whatever it takes in order to accomplish the goal that they are going to chase and follow with you so you are going to have a, a faithful companion here throughout your endeavors in this week that will if not anything else is going to encourage you um, you know to push on even further as we saw with the five of wands into the challenge that your morale you know your resolve may waver in the face of um say unpredictability not that much of a difficulties but unpredictability of the situations that you may find yourself at nonetheless that you will be able to accomplish a remarkable success with them given by the uh, given by the sun card so that will be a companion that will always maintain your positive attitude and you will always going to be able to make you see the positive and the bright side of things regardless of how bad the things may look like if they look like bad at all uh, moving next, we do have the impression that you're going to give into the people around. So that is going to be the impression of the of the uh, six of pentacles. So first of all, with the six of pentacles, the impression is that you do deserve what you're after. And that, um, uh, you know, nobody can hold you accountable for that you get more than you actually deserve. You know, because there are those people that are criticizing you constantly that, you know, you get more than you have worked for. Well, that is not going to be the case throughout this week. Additionally to that, the Six of Pentacles, uh, it will show to the people that you are ready to face, you know, your future uh, with or without their help as well. So that being said, people are to see you very, very determined moving on forward and that into those that hope that you are going to change your mind you're going to have change of heart or anything like that well they will abandon this this vision and this hope at that particular week say you know a, a an, an ex that's 
uh, is bothering you, you don't want to have anything to do with them any longer, but they hope that you're going to change your heart, you know, and get back to them. Well, they is highly likely throughout this week that they will abandon this standpoint and probably going to leave you, uh, probably going to leave you alone. But the grand scheme of things here with the five of with the six of pentacles it is that people are going to see you that you are following the hierarchy you have built for and that you uh, eventually at the end of the day you're going to end up in a place that you have worked for as well and being said uh they were pretty much going to grow in respect towards you and uh, the final card is the guidance here which is the four of swords it's highly correlating with the knight of wands okay because the four of swords for you here points that should you lost your way throughout this week not knowing what to do in general okay um you can always consult yourself with a faithful companion which follows to be here at the knight of wands and together through a careful analysis of the circumstances and of the situation itself a, and an accurate plan, an accurate diagnosis or an accurate a strategy was the word I was searching for is going to be constructed how to become beneficial and how to pretty much break through and achieve success throughout the week with term in term of a enterprises. And one more thing here about Four of Swords before I conclude the reading, it is that now, it is highly likely that many of your previous concerns and issues are not going to bother you throughout the week. They will simply going to become uh, your environment will become un unaffected by those uh, by those issues and concerns. But that doesn't mean that they are resolved. OK, they will return back. Um, further into the future so if you can use the time of this week you know to address those concerns and um, create a strategy how to resolve them once they uh, one, once they start having an influence upon your life once again so that being said Gemini this was your weekly general tarot reading guys uh, June first to June 7th 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again if you're interested in a private reading you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link from my uh, to my website uh, from where you can purchase such and as well if you like uh, the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way my third season of tarot classes beginners beginners tarot classes is starting uh, at the 21st of June and um there in the six weeks a um course i'm going to teach you how to learn how to read a major arcana and hopefully at the end of the course you will be set to read your own uh your own readings so that being said uh hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye